Monterey Car Week is all about showing off beloved classics, extreme rarities, and the latest and greatest pieces of automotive art from the best automakers in the world. More than any others, these three made our jaws drop. Rolls-Royce is no stranger to Monterey Car Week, or the whims of billionaire buyers for that matter. For a company that prides itself on coach building, the California show is a unique opportunity to demonstrate just what its experts, engineers, and artisans can do when price is no object. Hence, 2023's Rolls-Royce Droptail. Though instantly recognizable as a Rolls-Royce, Droptail still manages to be a huge departure for the automaker. The first roadster body style in the company's modern history, it includes an aerodynamically functional dropping rear end reminiscent of a sailing yacht's profile. Hot rod aesthetics inspired the low-slung glass house, particularly when the removable hardtop is fitted. That top is crafted from carbon fiber and features an electrochromic glass panel that can be dimmed to adjust how much light comes into the cabin. The inside is minimalism, Rolls-Royce style. Two seats, just three visible buttons, and a sweeping wooden console. Only four drop tails will be built, each unique, and featuring a more potent version of the automaker's 6.6-liter V12 engine. As for how much membership in the very, very exclusive Droptail Owners Club might cost, Rolls-Royce isn't giving specific numbers. All the automaker will say is that Droptail is a more involved project than the 2021 Rolls-Royce boat tail was. Given that car was rumored to cost around $28 million, a 30-plus million price tag for the Droptail seems as possible as it is shocking. Lamborghini promised something dramatic as the automaker headed into its all-electric future, and there's arguably no better place than Monterey Car Week to preview just what that EV excess will look like. At first glance, it's tough to categorize quite what the Lamborghini Lanzador concept is, though. As sleek as a two-door, with a profile similar to the automaker's coupe supercars, at the same time, it rides higher, more akin to an Urus SUV. The result, Lamborghini claims, is an all-new category an Ultra GT with seating for four and a fearsome dual-motor drivetrain to ensure speed is never in question. Permanent all-wheel drive plus e-torque vectoring on the rear axle should mean the Lanzador hugs the corners much like a hurricane might, while a new iteration of Lamborghini's dynamic control system can adjust everything from the air suspension, rear axle steering, and torque distribution to how the active aerodynamic aids are positioned. Inside, recycled and eco-friendly materials clad a futuristic dashboard with switchgear that wouldn't be out of place on a movie spaceship's console. Once again, it's a combination of SUV flexibility with sports car focus, but it's not only the driver that gets entertainment on road trips, as various pop-out displays are available to keep passengers amused. Most exciting, Lamborghini says that the Lanzador is a concrete preview of its upcoming fully electric model. We'll have to wait until 2028 to actually see that arrive, but when that happens, it'll slot intriguingly in between Lamborghini's coupes and SUV as a whole new product line rather than replacing any of them. What can a supercar achieve if it no longer has to comply with those pesky, overly restrictive road rules? The Maserati MC Extrema aims to find out, taking what has proved so exciting about the automaker's MC20 supercar and turning it into a track-only beast that could turn Batman's head. Where does it get those wonderful toys? 730 horsepower is enough to give rival supercars sleepless nights, and it's all the more impressive when you consider it's coming from a tuned version of Maserati's twin-turbo V6 engine. Around that, the automaker wraps a symphony of custom carbon fiber bodywork, including an asphalt-scraping front spoiler, soaring flying buttresses, and a tail that looks straight out of a video game. The result is more than 17 feet long and as much a statement of Maserati's appetite for innovation as a means of transportation. Since this is a track plaything, everything about the MC Extrema is made to go fast. Adjustable suspension and anti-roll bars make tailoring the coupe to each course possible. All of the aero, including the vast rear wing, can be tweaked as well. Inside, there's a full roll cage and racing seats, plus an automatic fire suppression system and a roof-mounted escape hatch. Bristling with buttons and knobs, the cockpit looks more like something a fighter pilot would buckle into. While an MC20 certainly isn't cheap, both look positively mainstream next to the MC Extrema's seven-figure price tag. Initially, only 62 cars will be built, with Maserati offering owners full track day packages with a team of engineers on hand to take care of maintenance. The bad news? Even if you have the budget for it, you're probably too late. All MC Extrema build slots have been taken.